How's it going guys? Cuban here from Against the World Gaming with another 7 Days to Die tutorial. Um, I've gotten tons of responses guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the video I put out on how to, in, how to create a server for 7 Days to Die and how to install Mischief Maker. I've helped a few people out. Um, lots of likes on the video, a few subscriptions from it. I appreciate you guys very much. Tons of comments and I've, I've, like I said, I've been able to help out quite a few people. Um, and I hope that those, that video continues to help people. But then I've, I've noticed and I've been asked by quite a few to submit, I guess, a, a second part to that. And there's been a lot of people that have had issues with either modding their server to be able to play, let's say, Darkness Falls, like I do. Uh, reminder, by the way, if you want to come check it out, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Links down in the description uh, over on Twitch. If you want to see exactly what I'm going to show you guys in action and say hi, Maybe spawn some zombies on me using the Mischief Maker app. Um, like I said, every every Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, I stream. Um, also, if this video helps you out and you like it and you want to see more stuff that I post on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell to get notified. And always, always leave a comment, questions, whatever, down in the comment section below. So let's get to it. Um, I want to show you guys how to mod your server. I also want to show you how to port forward, which is going to be an interesting discussion because port forwarding is very, very router specific. Everybody's router is handled differently. I'm going to leave some links down in the description where <clears throat> I guess for resources like router specific instructions on how to port forward, as well as instructions from Steam, from Valve. On, on what to port forward and how to port forward for seven days to die. So all that stuff will be down in the description. Make sure you take a look at it. There'll also be a link to my Discord where you can jump in, contact me directly, and I've been able to help people out with some screen shares and whatnot. So if you've got more questions or you just can't quite get things working right, make sure to jump into the Discord and I'll be happy to help you out. So let's get over to the computer and get started. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. Um, and this is the seven days to die mod launcher. Now I I'm not going to do much on how to use this or how to set this up, but really important before you go modding your game, your server, make sure to mod your game and this mod launcher will do so. There are tons of videos out there. Skippy uh, has done a video on how to use this mod launcher. KJ48 I think has done one. There's tons and tons and tons of videos out there on how to use the mod launcher. Um, these are all the different mods you can install using it. So I'm not going to get into it, but you're going to want to do this first. Okay, so go out there, get the seven days to die mod launcher, mod your game, play the game, test it out with the mod you want, and then come back to this video, um, preferably not too long, and watch the rest of it. So I'm going to close this out because we're not really going to use it. So here we are. I have my seven days to die server, which last video that I worked with you guys, I showed you how to create this using Steam CMD and how to add this Mischief Maker mod to it. So we, we've played on this before, we've loaded it up, it worked and everything was great. Okay, the other thing I have is I have the files for Darkness Falls, the Darkness Falls server files. Now I will also link the direct download for the server files in the description. So after you mod your game using Mod Launcher, um, download this. Like I said, link will be in the description. The description is going to have a ton of information, so make sure you look in there uh, for a direct download for this from the, the developer himself. This is what he posted in his Discord, so this is coming right from him. So what we're going to do is I'm going to open this up. It's going to have a bunch of files, okay? Very, very simple. I copy all of these files and I paste them into my server folder. So my computer my local drive, Steam CMD, seven days to die server. Remember, this is the folder you created in the last video where I showed you how to create a server. We are going to paste all of these Darkness Falls files into here. It's going to ask me if I want to replace some stuff. I'm going to say yes. So once we get to that point, we'll say yes. And then technically, that's it. My server is modded. Um, then we got to get into port forwarding. So I'm going to let this finish again. It's going to prompt at some point. Do you want to replace this file? I think the first time, if you just hit yes to all, it'll take care of everything. So I'm going to go ahead and just wait until this is done and I'll be back as soon as it's ready. 
Okay guys, so that's all done. It took a little bit, um, but as soon as it was done extracting, it asked me, you know, would you like to replace the existing files? I said yes. And you can see that these are the folders that were affected. Obviously the readme was whatever, but the mods, if we go into mods, you're gonna see quite a few more mods now. These are all the seven days, the Darkness Falls mods, as well as the server data, the Darkness Falls is a full overhaul. So it changes more than just putting stuff in your mods folder. Um, at this point, <clears throat> I can start my server. Um, I can start my dedicated server. I can join it, but no one can join me. Um, I would have to do some port forwarding in order to allow someone or a friend of mine or whatever to join my game, which is what we kind of do with Cyber. Um, is he, we, Cyber and I connect to a specific server. Um, I'm on a computer, he's on a computer, and our server's on another computer. That's a whole different way of doing it. This works just fine. Um, if you've been playing already, it works just fine. So we're gonna get into port forwarding. Now I've got a couple of, these are some of the resources I'm gonna put down in the description, um, but there's basic port forwarding instructions. Um, there will be the router specific instructions. And then these instructions from Valve, you'll go about three quarters of the way down on the page, which I'll show you here really quick. Um, <clears throat> about three quarters of the way down, it will have the ports that you are going to want to, why isn't this working? Um, interesting. Let's do, I think the server part was missing. Uh, I know why, I gotta do underscore server. I bet you that's it, that's it. So I gotta make sure I fix that link for you guys. I will, down in the description, I'll make sure it's fixed. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it right now and fix it in my little Word document before I forget. There we go, okay. So down here about three quarters, sorry about that, about three quarters of the way down, you're gonna see right here firewall ports, okay? Really important, if you wanna be able to access your game's terminal remotely, then you wanna do 8080 through 8081 TCP. I know this sounds really confusing, but when you get into your, your different, um, your different router specific websites, it's gonna ask you, is this a TCP port? Is it a UDP or is it both, okay? For some might even give, some don't give you the option of both, some do. Honestly, like I said, router specific, I can't really get into specifically how to do it because my router is gonna be different than your router. But <clears throat> the only one that really matters, okay? The only one that really matters is this one, is 29, is 26900, and this one, 26900, 26900 through 26902. Um, these are really the two that allow your friends to join you. Now, some of you, some of you have had some issues where your computer, for some reason, was already using 26900. So then just go 26901 um, and then do this as 26901 through 26902. So, but for most of you, this is what's going to work. These are the ports you want to forward. Here it says if you want to use Ask, you know, Ask's mods, um, <clears throat> so that you know there's a web map you can use. Um, do eighty eighty two. Most of you aren't going to be doing this. Um, I would just recommend keep it simple. Don't don't forward too much because remember you are when you're port forwarding you're opening up ports on your network. So do as as few as possible. So open up these two ports on your router, um, and I can even show you guys here router specific instructions. So if we go to um, that website, and let's just take a quick look at something like a like a Linksys router, right? Or, or a Netgear. Let's do a let's do a Netgear. I think a lot of people, well, I think a lot of people have Linksys routers. Okay, so we have a Linksys router. Close this. <clears throat> First, it's going to tell you find your router's password or your router's IP address. Most of the time, it's 192.168.0.1 or .1.1. It tells you here how to find out what your default gateway is. Your default gateway is your router. Then you go down, you're gonna sign into your router. Um, as far as your router's username and password, it's in the documentation that came with your router, unless you've already logged into it once and you've changed the login. Again, everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, for Linksys, I believe it's usually root Admin root or root admin is like the username password combination, but I honestly, I it's been so long I don't remember. But it says, you know, you're gonna click apps and gaming. Um, and then here you're gonna see an application name. You can name it seven days to die, okay? Um, 
and then you do your start your start and your end if if it's a singular port like the 26900 then just put that in both and make it the tcp um, and the device ip this is really important the device ip is your computer's ip address so here where it says ipv4 address and you see this it says 192.168.0.2 this is your computer's ip address or if you're running the server on a separate computer that computer's ip address so make sure you keep note of that whatever computer is running the server not your game but your server which i know that can get a little confusing because some of you if not most of you are running your game and your server on the same computer if you are great that's okay that's not a big deal just remember where is my server running is it running on the same computer that my game's on fine it's this ip address if it's a different computer find the ip address for that computer and remember the ip address okay put that in here then do the next one you're going to add another one and you'll call it seven days to die two and then the start and the end which was 26900 through 26902 and then you're going to do udp and then the same ip address and then you'll apply and you're done at that point your friends should be able to join you no problem and that's pretty much it i really don't have anything else to show you guys um, again there's a link down in the description to um, join the discord so uh, let me just switch this over <laughs> So like I said, there's a link down in the description to get into our Discord. You can come in there, you can message me directly, ask me questions, I can set up screen shares and I can walk you through stuff and help you out if you're having any issues. I can even help test, I can try and join your game assuming I'm home. But anyway, like I said guys, if this helped you out, you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you, you hit the little notification so you get notifications on when I upload new videos, whether they're gameplay videos, tutorial videos, whatever. Uh, I'm thinking about doing all sorts of crap. I've been doing some graphic design stuff too. Um, also, as a reminder, again, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Links down in the description over on Twitch. Make sure you stop by, say hi, and you can see all of this in action. Hope this all helped you out. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.